how to get all india rank 1 in iit jee so you guys might be thinking it's not possible since there's less than 3 months for the 2025 jee exam but i'm telling you if you want to really do something nothing is impossible today in this video i'm going to be guiding you guys on your preparation for the upcoming days for this exam so first step for this preparation is This is it. So you guys should be always aiming for the All India rank 1. And it's really not impossible, you know. The key point is first make a plan. Most of you, you know, should be making a plan right now. So take a few hours of a day, like you know or even take one day like you should make a plan you know without plan you can't do anything if you're going to school allen or you know any other coaching centers just don't go just stop going okay because because of going there you you have to like spend a lot of time there and you get like less than four hours a day to study or uh, yeah and that's not sufficient you know so just stop going there you should always do self-study Self-study is a key for everything. You should take a day for yourself and then analyze yourself. How much of the portions are you done with? Are you really sure of this chapter? Are you like completely done with it? And you're sure of everything in the chapter. After making that point, you should like, you know, make a list of all the chapters coming for the JE exam. Like, you can see the list over there. I mean, it's another page, but I made all the list of all the chapters that are coming for the exam. You should do something similar to that, you know, just make the list and then you should uh, like, you know, mark the chapters that you are absolutely sure with in that list. After that, you should, uh, you know, calculate the amount of time you have left for the exam. Ideally, you should be having a plan such as, you know, one chapter in a day, you know. You can actually finish a chapter in a day, but it's not for all the chapters. Some chapters would be taking like three days, two days, but one chapter a day, if you are able to do, you are actually going good with the plan. But another thing I would like to note down is here. So this is the most important one, okay? This is it. Consistency. Consistency is the most important part of today. You know, you should be consistent with the hours you study in a day. You could be studying 4 hours a day or you could be someone studying 16 hours a day. So, 16 hours a day is the best. But some people do one day 16 hours and the next day they do nothing. But, you know, that's not really it. Consistency is when you should be consistent with the amount of hours you're studying in a day. You should... You can be studying 5 hours a day, but if you are consistent with 5 hours every single day, you are actually doing good. It's not like you are studying 16 hours a day and the next day you are doing nothing. So if you are a person who studies 4 hours a day and try making it consistent, okay? So every single day try making it 4 hours and you can gradually increase it to adding it like 5 hours in a day and then you can increase it. Ideally, a JE aspirant should be studying in between 14 hours to 16 hours a day. What I'm saying is, try increasing your study time and be consistent. So, you can max it out to 8 hours and then try doing it for a week. And if you are going good, good with it, then you can increase it to 9 hours or 10 hours. So, try getting your time to 14 hours a day. And that's the main part. Be consistent, okay? After that, as I told at the starting of this video, you should take a day for yourself and then, you know, mark all the most weightage chapters. You can find them online. So mark them. And to complete the syllabus in less than three months, there's actually a good plan. One is one shots. You should watch YouTube one shot videos, you know. So, you know, you can find many videos on YouTube actually. Some are like, you know, eight hours. They are also good, but if you are in a rush right now 
and or you know like uh, what i'm saying is you are sure of a chapter like you know a chapter but you need to complete it you watch one shot videos on it and it's actually good you know you get the main idea right after that what i'm saying is if you are not done a chapter at all then i would recommend you to watch 8 hours uh, lecture videos like you should, i would recommend you physics wala he teaches really good so you spend one chapter on a day starting of the day you just like you know complete the 8 hours lectures so to complete the 8 hours lectures it will take you like 10 hours because you would pause in between write down the notes and all so ideally one chapter would take like 10 hours in a day after that you should solve you know questions based on the chapter start with easy questions okay after that you can go for mains level and yeah I would not say advanced because first you should focus on mains, you know. And another way is, see, third one here is, here's a third one, YouTube lectures. YouTube lectures are the best one actually. You can complete your whole JE main syllabus by just watching this YouTube lectures, you know. After that, I'm saying is, you are in 12th grade right now, if you're watching this video, of course. And yeah, so don't focus on 11 syllabus, you know, 70% of the JE portions will come from 12th syllabus and you are doing 12th right now, so just try completing the 12th chapters first, try completing the 12th syllabus from starting and if you didn't do 11 properly and the 12 stuff are related to 11, then just skip those chapters for now and do the chapters that are unrelated to 11th grade. After that, you can come back to these chapters and you can like, you know, you can't of course do the whole 11 year, you are short of time. So you can just watch 11 uh, one shot videos on those chapters that are related to this one. So what I'm saying is, fourth one, 12th first, do 12th grade first. So you would be asking that chapter 1, 2, 3, like that, there, there. Suppose you, these one two chapters are not related to 11 like they're completely separate then you can just do them do them like you know one chapter in a day you can finish up them by watching physics wala pw it's a best website i'm telling you i mean best youtube channel so the teachers are like you know really good there and so you can do one chapter a day but suppose over here the third chapter is Related to 11, like, you know, it's like, if you don't do 11 chapters related to this, then you can't understand it, of course. So, it's like, you know, organic. But I'm telling you, if you are bad, if you did 11 chemistry bad in that chapter, you can, like, you know, search for one shots, one shot, one shots related to this chapter of 11th grade. So one shots will, you know, take between 40 minutes to 2 hours. So you'll be done with the backlogs that way, that uh, the topics that are related to this new chapter. After that, you can take like 2 days for this chapter maybe. As I told you at the starting of this video, you know, one, one, ch uh, one chapter a day can't happen in most of the cases. That's why in one day you need to analyze like which chapter would take 3 hours which chapter would take, you know, like three days and based on that, you should make a list you should be like, you know I would like, you know, show you the list right now so if you guys can see over here I made a proper plan and these are all the math chapters for JEE syllabus and these are all physics it's quite a lot for physics, we have approximately 30 chapters I mean, 28 based on the Allen book category and for chemistry, these are the 11th grade. I still in like 12th grade ones. So I'm telling is, you have enough number of days, okay? You have like 80 days left for JEE. And they are, you can still do one chapter per day based on this list. See, suppose this is 30 and you can assume the number over here as uh, 23. So it's like, and this one. So even though you are out of the days, you can, uh, as you can see, 
they are almost the same amount of chapters as the number of days they are. I'm telling you, you wouldn't be able to complete one chapter a day. Suppose like, see, one chapter in this list might take like three days to complete. And if you do that, you won't get time to do other chapters. So in this case, all you can do is, if you are like really sure of a chapter over there, you can just watch one shot and then get started with new chapter. And that will help you a lot. Suppose, let's suppose that, let's suppose that you haven't done anything, okay? And this is your fresh start. I mean, of course you did some basics, but then you didn't do anything. You can still get All India rank 1. You know how? Just follow the tips I told you. You can't complete 11, okay? Just focus completely on 12. And if their chapters are related, as I'm telling you again, you can just watch one shots on the related portions and just do this chapter completely. Like the chapter 3 over here. This one. This chapter. So this chapter could be anything, you know. But if it's like mostly related to 11, just watch one shots on the chapters that are basically in 11. And you can do it, you know. One shots are actually useful. And another tip I would like to share with you guys is if you like a subject, you know, you might not be liking chemistry, but you like physics and maths, and you find studying chemistry boring, then just don't do it. I mean, I'm not telling you not to completely not do it. You can, like, you should do everything, of course. JE has physics, chemistry, and maths. But if your favorite subject is physics, you can do one thing. Out of the list I have shown you here, you can, like, you know, complete all of physics, you know, just do physics perfectly, okay? And uh, you might not do chemistry perfectly, so just skip those options of chemistry questions, just skip them and do physics perfectly. You'll still get a good rank because many people, you know, they just brush up everything. They study everything, but they're not perfect with everything. So if you're interested in a subject like physics or maths or anything, just do that one perfectly, okay? Just solve previous year questions as much as possible and they will really help you guys. So the first important point over here is do your favorite subject first. Just do it. You might, you might be actually weak in chemistry but if you are good in physics just do it perfectly and then you can come back to chemistry and if you if you don't have time just do chemistry ncrt level and that's enough guys some chapters in chemistry like inorganic you if you do ncrt it's perfectly fine another thing i would like to share with you guys is believe in yourself if you think you can't do it then you most probably won't do it so just think that you can do it okay we have 80 days for this je mains january exam so by you know this november you can like you know do one subject and December you can finish another subject and January you still have 20 days actually you know while I was telling all of this the video actually got cut and uh, I couldn't like you know I missed most of the portion but I'm gonna summarize it so the sixth point is avoid distractions avoid distractions meaning if you have something that's distracting you like mobile or anything you just like you know while studying you can just keep it in some other room so you won't get distracted and this is for everything guys just don't get distracted okay and if you by not getting distracted you're actually saving a lot of time so you can make up to 14 hours a day in a study and another point is chemistry chemistry is divided into physical organic and inorganic for organic it will take 16 days okay because one chapter would take three days in like one of the chapter would take three days and some would take one chapter a day and in inorganic you you try doing two chapters in one day and mostly one chapter a day so that will take 10 days and you have uh, this i mean my bad that's for physical okay for inorganic you have four chapters you do NCRT level and that's enough. That's more than enough. So for physical chemistry, you can do two, cha two chapters in one day or one chapter a day and that's it. So to highlight the important points of this video, first, sit down, make a plan, analyze yourself. Second, be consistent, try doing 16 hours a day. After that, I'm gonna say, 
do 12 syllabus first okay then you can go back to 11th and then do the backlogs in one shot videos after that you can avoid this is an important one avoid distractions and do youtube lectures youtube lectures are actually very helpful you can like you know do anything with youtube lectures and that's it so just follow all of these steps and you can actually get all india rank one because you need to believe in yourself then you can do anything okay after this i would like to say you know there are some people studying for two years consistently it's not like only they will get you can start right now and even you can get okay so that's it guys all the best you can do well